Today we're going to be installing an Adventure Rack Systems bed rack onto a third gen Toyota Tacoma. Adventure Rack Systems, or ARS, has just started hitting the Toyota market. So it makes sense if you've never heard of them. But they've actually been around since 1982 when David Lewis started a company called Cargo Masters. Cargo Masters was primarily for van racks, truck racks, and commercial vehicle storage. In 2014, the famed Rubicon Express founder, Rusty Smith, liked the line so much that he partnered up with David Lewis to start Cargo Master Safaris. In 2020, Metal Cloak picked up the brand and started building a bunch of different types of racks for Jeeps. And one of the Jeeps that they wanted to focus on was the Gladiator because it has a bed. And since it has a bed, they built a bed rack for it. And that bed rack also fits Tacoma's. So now, lucky us, Tacoma owners can now acquire a superior bed rack system from an outstanding company in the off-road market. We're starting off today by simply building the bed bars. And to do so, we just attach the carriage bolt through the riser, then a flat washer, a lock washer, and then the nut. Once we do that, we slide it all together. All right. Next step here is you're gonna twist those carriage bolts so that they fly in. Just give it a little shake and she'll line up. What's great about ARS is that they have tons of accessories. You could be finished right now and just run these bars and a bed rack on it and or have a bunch of accessories that can go on to just these bars. We have the middle support kit which is going in the middle and it's going to make this much more rigid. We also have side accessory panels and we have the bed rack kit that's all going on here. That's why we added all this additional hardware on the inside. But what I really like about this kit is that how modular it is, how you just can get the sidebar or just the bed rack bars, and that's it. But we are gonna be installing everything today just to show you guys how to do it. And then we're gonna to be tossing it onto Juan from Tacoma Power to Tacoma. So there's a ton of hardware with this system, and I wanna to talk to you guys about how we have this sort of laid out. What we found is that the black T-nuts pretty much all go to this middle section. So we have these guys are for the bottoms here. The side mounts of these uh, section here will go onto the carriage bolts that we installed. And then the, all the black hardware is all for the center section, like I said. There is some uh, regular nuts and some nylon locking nuts on here that hold this section in the middle together. So here on the middle support kit, there's these three slots. We're gonna add these T nuts into each one of these, all three, and including this one, which is gonna be the bottom. These are gonna attach this extruded piece to the, the base that's gonna attach to our bars. To attach the middle accessory tray to the support ends, they supply you with this gold a uh, nylon lock and then the washer and hardware to go with it. These are half inch drives, both of them. So you can just slide these guys together and tighten them all up. These ones you can snug up right away because this is the exact fitment on these parts. We're leaving these other ones loose for right now so we can adjust when we put this rack together. All right, so now with these crossbars flipped upside down, we moved all the hardware out of the way. We should be able to lay this over the ends. Oops. That's why we leave all the hardware loose for this adjustment. There we go. Push it in. You gotta pull that back a little. Yep. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we do the same to this side. There we go. Now we can really slide that hardware right into spot. I just found this, I think it's a spray nozzle end. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's long and a little flimsy. And so it works really good for sliding these T-nuts down the track until they can get right where we need them. Right in. 
The middle support kit is a tight fit, and I needed to apply a little bit of pressure downwards to make sure that the carriage bolts slid right into place. As soon as they did, I put a flat washer, then a lock washer, and then the nut on top. It did at first appear that the bolts were a little bit short, but as soon as we tightened them up, everything came out flush and looking pretty. Those bolts seem a little short. Mm -hmm. Let me suck this down real quick. Flush. Perfect. At this point right now, what we're doing is we're just pretty much tightening everything down in that middle section and snugging it to the cross beams. Installing the bed rack system right now, it just simply slides over the top of these carriage bolts that we put on earlier. We just do some flat washers, some locking washers, and then the nuts on top of that. And we'll cinch those down. Make sure that these, in this case, are facing down, so it's gonna be a flat surface from there to the top of that rail. Don't want them the other way. We're now sliding the side accessory panels down between the towers, and then we're gonna use the provided hardware to attach these to the towers, and it's three bolts. One, two, three. On each side. Mm -hmm. In the kit, these uh, mounting brackets come that slide into the C-channels into the Tacoma bed. We did have to pull off everything that was attached to there and the end caps on these right here. But what all you do is just simply slide these in and you're gonna put one all the way down there and then one nearby. And we're gonna do that on both sides so that when we lift the rack up onto the truck, we'll just set it into place, do a little bit of measuring and attach those guys to the rack. Oh yeah. Damn, Jimmy, you got big muscles. <laughs> Here we go. Looking Oof. good. Yeah. So we did about 65 and a half from this measurement to the other side from the towers. And it looks like we could have probably gone closer to 70. Um, but what we'll, we left everything loose so we can adjust as needed. With this long bed here, one of the things that we did was we actually centered it over the axle. Uh, pretty damn close right there. Uh, we thought that looked pretty good. Instead of centering it on the bed, we centered it over the axle. I think that came out pretty well. Good fit. All right, now that the rack is on the bed, we got two little things to do. These guys are the little black plugs for a few extra holes that are on the outside here. Bing, bing, and bing. And we've got to tighten it all the way up. We got one in there right now. We got to put the other one in and then you just tighten around the side. Now that we've sucked down the, cro the towers to the C channel, we have to tighten down the cross beams to the tower. We left those loose so that it would we can move it and adjust it as needed. And then once we do that, we'll just go around and make sure everything else is tight. But this rooftop tent bed rack from ARS looks absolutely fantastic. is installed. Big thanks to ARS Adventure Rack Systems for tossing out this kit for us to install for all you guys out there today. What do you think about it? Came out amazing. Awesome. Awesome. It is a super <laughs> sleek design. I like the fact that it's modular so if you want to just start with the cross beams you can do that and then you can add everything else that we showed you here today. They're also coming out with future adaptations for these racks so it's ever going to be changing and there's always going to be accessories that you can add to it. They are a really cool uh, company, and I appreciate them reaching out to us to allow us to do this install for you guys today. If you have any questions on how we did this, throw it down there in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. And like always, my friends, don't forget, keep crawling. <laughs>